Hey, what's going on, Hope Alive Church, Junior High Ministry? Hi, guys. We love you guys. We miss you guys. And you know that we can't wait to get back to church with you guys once again and hang out. But in the meantime, I want to talk to you guys about the day that true love died. Resurrection Sunday is a Sunday that we celebrate because, well, God's not dead. Jesus is alive. He has risen, right? He conquered the, he conquered the grave. He conquered the sting of death. Can you imagine if there's a bee coming at you, but it has no stinger? It's not able to sting you or, or hurt you because it has no stinger, right? Or imagine if there's a lion coming at you, but it has no fangs. It's not able to bite you or harm you because it has no fangs. So that's the, exactly the same thing Jesus did on the cross is that he conquered the grave and he conquered the sting of death and he took away the hurt of our sin. He took all of our sin and he bore it upon himself on the cross. And one of the seven statements that Jesus cries out on the cross is that, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And when he cries that out, that essentially means is that there's a separation from God the Father and God the Son, Jesus. So Jesus hated the fact that he was separated from the Father because the Father had to look away from the Son because of our sin. Can you imagine how hard it must have been for uh, Abraham taking his son Isaac and sacrificing his son Isaac, but God stopping him in the last, at the last moment, how hard it must have been for Abraham. And also for the Father, look at Jesus on the cross with all of our sin, the darkest, the meanest, the, the ugliest sin any human being can ever commit was on Jesus. And so Isaiah 53, 11 says, he shall bear their iniquities. And 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Righteousness of God in him. And so I just want to encourage you guys that, that we may not be separated from our Father, from Jesus. If there's anything that may separate us from him, and there's separation going on today, you know, with all this going on with this coronavirus thing, we have to be in our homes and six feet away from people when we go to the stores but that doesn't mean that we're separated from God right but if there's any sin that we have in our lives that we may repent of it and run quickly to the Father that we may hate the fact that we're separated and so that's the reason why there was a separation because Jesus had all of our sin because God the Father had to look away and so another statement that Jesus cries out on the cross is it is finished and what that essentially means is that it is made a, it is it is made an end of it is made an end of our sin it is made an end of our shame it is made an end of our guilt it also means it is paid in full so mm -hmm. you know the price of redemption with his blood he paid the full price for us and it also means it is performed it also means it is performed he performed um, all the requirements of the law if anyone out there says hey you know what I'm all good you know I'm not a sinner like I got a lot together there's no way any human being can ever say that because we all have lied you know what is another thing we all have stolen stuff you know we all have coveted at some point we all have far we all fall short of the glory of God mm -hmm. so no one is ever perfect but he was the only perfect man that ever walked on the face of this earth um, to ever live and another th way that, that uh, it is finished means is that it was accomplished the work the father had given to Jesus was accomplished upon the cross he did everything he needed to do on, the, on this earth that God the father sent him to do and so I just love this time because I get to uh, just to ponder on what Jesus did for me on the cross and I just want to encourage, I speak to everyone. I don't speak just to the junior hires right now. I speak to everyone. If there's anyone out there that, that, they could, that they can just look upon the cross and that they can just look on what Jesus did for them. And also, that we also need to remember that we fall short and that we need a Savior. And also, just imagine also another metaphor. If you're on the beach and you're drowning, what do you do, right? You cry out for a lifeguard. You're drawn and you're recognizing that you're drawn and no one can save you but the lifeguard. So we need to do the same thing. We need to cry out to our Father to save us from our sins because we're all far short. And just quickly, just to end, 
um, we all need to be covered. We all need to be covered by his blood. We all need to be covered by his grace. And we all need to be covered by the salvation of Jesus. And it's been raining, you know, this last past week. So when I go out, I have to put my umbrella. And when I get my umbrella out, I get covered by this rain. And that's one source, one way that I'm covered by the rain. So let's get our umbrellas out and just be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so I just want to encourage you guys. Um, any words, Miss Patty? I'm, because I just want to just, I'm just so thankful for for what Jesus did on the no, cross. And Easter and it's is, Easter's very special because it, it, as Mr. Jesse's saying, it just reminds us so much of God's true love. I think it, um, when we read his word, that that was his ultimate sacrifice and that gave us his ultimate gift. You know, he died for us, but he didn't just die. He he rose again, which is, it's, it's he's not just true love, but he's the true living God. And these are actual events that happen, you know, this was actually events that if anyone ever wants to go into detail and study this this event, they can find proof that it did actually happen. That's why I named this uh, the day that true love died because everything we read in the Word of God is true, you guys. And so I encourage you guys to just to walk with our Lord and Savior. And we encourage you guys to keep on praying. Um, you know, whatever you're facing, just know that God has your back. And that he's there for you and God's in control of everything. And um, just take this time to to ponder in this, you know, think about it. And, and let's be um, thankful and, and grateful for God's blessings and, and for the uh, greatest gift of salvation. And uh, also take time to to celebrate this with our family. You know, it's, it's a great, it's, a, it's, it's the best, you know, gift ever, salvation. So today, Easter, we celebrate it. Let's take that time to celebrate it with our family. And, and pray and be in communion with them and be in communion with Jesus. Yeah, it's a gift. There's nothing that we can ever do to earn salvation. All we have to do is look upon the cross and recognize that He's our Lord and Savior. He died for our sins. And let us repent from our sins and recognize that He's our Savior and we shall be saved. And so we do that. And, and so I just pray for you guys. And can, we, keep, we keep praying for you guys. We miss you guys, like Mr. Jesse said. And, and we also hope... Uh, a uh, side note that you guys connect this Wednesday coming up through Zoom. You guys have uh, all the info uh, because we really enjoy look, just, you know, hearing from you guys. And, um, you know, that's, that's all we want to just kind of say. Let's say remain connected to Jesus. Let's remain connected with our family and let's, and, and let's remain connected among us. Yeah. So we're praying for you guys. We love you guys. And we'll see you soon. Let's we'll pray. see you on Zoom or whatever, which way, but we'll see you guys. So we'll pray us out. Lord, we just thank you.